this end of it. Um, Joey McCutcheon has just uh, joined us. He has came in from um, Pittsburgh, and so that is why he's late. We've had bad weather, and so um, Joey, if you can just say hi real fast, you'll get to know him and his um, feelings on this during the debate because I want to do the questions. Um, and so, um, but when we talked about this debate, I thought about doing a PowerPoint, and I just did not think that was what needed to be done. Um, and so what I have asked is um, Mr. Gray, who is from Hot Springs, Arkansas, um, he is going to speak just very briefly on the story and then we're going to take your questions. Um, and this is a story from home. This is Hot Springs. And this is what it's about. The, these videos of, you know, jumping around and all that, that's not what this is about. This is about people dying. That is what issue one is about. And so I think it's more important that you hear exactly what issue one is really going to do in the state of Arkansas. Please welcome my guest, Mr. Gray. Good evening. I would wish to be here on better circumstances and I'm trying to calm down. It's been a long time since I have been so insulted and I'm so disgusted by someone that I used to enjoy hearing from the gentleman that presented before us I have lived what they're talking about 2006 my wife died in the hospital from a routine surgery the hospital would not give me answers they ran me around and ran me around and told me I would have to get a lawyer or be appointed executive state to get the answers. Now, if you've ever had a loved one die, half of me died that day. I have five children. I've had to be strong for them and be the rock. I came out of the fog and said, something's not right here. This just, this just stinks to high heaven. I went to the right law firm in Arkadelphia, Mr. Rodney Moore, was a class act gentleman. He, if anything, discouraged me and told me this was the most difficult type of case to pursue, that Arkansas is historically the most conservative state of the 50 states of winning awards. When it does go to court, juries award the lowest amount. Garland County is considered the most conservative county of all the counties. They repeatedly told me that this would not be fruitful. And I told them I just wanted to get to the bottom of why she died. The story the hospital was telling me did not make sense. The hospital tried to drag me through the mud. I didn't have money to hire lawyers. These guys, Jack Rodney, brought on another law firm out of Texas County. They worked for three years with no guarantee they would get any money out of this. Now, sure, there are those that would say they had a good idea, but there was still no guarantee, just as any of you who play poker or bet at the racetrack. They went out of state to investigate other people that could testify in this case. Two of them settled with us. We went to court with the third. This was in court in May 2009. The other side's a lawyer even stated his opening statement that what happened to my wife was a total debacle. The only shining ray of hope she had was his client. We would not have won a penny. We would not have gotten to the truth if those lawyers had not worked for three years. One of them had a staff of 15, the other has a staff of 10. There was no guarantee they were going to get any money. I did not sue anyone for money. In fact, I told Mr. Moore in the beginning, if there was a policy that said that the doctor should have been wearing a blue tie on that day and he was wearing a red tie, I was not interested in pursuing that. I wanted to get to the truth. I did not want another family to suffer what we've suffered. My children did not have their mother for 12 years after he died that day. I did not come here tonight to be insulted and disgusted by a communist who, 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 it is my turn. You can talk later. I used to respect. Don't tell me. Please, sit down, please. 
when, when, the, when government wants to control what people can earn, that is communism in my opinion. It is wrong for America, it is wrong for our Kansans to have our government determine what individuals can earn. We did not sue to get rich. They told me what I would have to put a price tag on my wife, and when I told the lawyer, he said, we think we can win that. But the difference between winning and collecting is huge. We settled out of court with the first two. Every bit of that money is in trust funds for my children so they can go to the best college they can go. We did not win one of the cases until we had to go before a judge to find out what happened in another case. As soon as that judge ruled in our favor what happened in that other case, the hospital's lawyer turned and walked back to my lawyers and said, tell me when to stop writing, because he knew we had been caught. He knew they found out. Every bit of that money, not every bit, there was some money that I built a house for us. The majority of that money is for the kids. If you've not been on this side of where you have a loved one killed by somebody else's actions, and we prove in the court of law that they were negligent, if, if, if you haven't been on this side of the fence, you don't have a dog in the hunt. And people can sit up here and put power presentations and everything, and it's all fine and dandy. I called, I did not come here to insult anyone. I come here to share my story and to try not to cry up here in front of you guys. This is the King Midas touch of jealous people who think this sounds good. And I'm urging you to think about this. It sounds good like King Midas, everything I touch turns to gold until he got that gift that he realized that was not the gift he wanted. People don't... I, you, I pray that none of you ever experience losing a loved one. We all will lose our loved ones. If you live long enough, you're going to lose somebody. Just the way life goes. But I hope that's a long, long, long time from now. And I hope it's not at someone else's hands, that they're at home in bed, and you have a long time for them. I would trade every penny that I got back. I would trade every dime. I would have worked three jobs a week, three, days, three, three jobs at work, if my children could have their mother back. Nothing can bring her back. If there's not a financial penalty to these people to behave, they're not going to behave. They're going to say, oh, we're sorry. We're sorry. And they are not going to cut costs. I don't care what's happening in other states. You go to the man down the road who's got a gas station. Pepsi's been selling the six-pack for, for, for a dollar. He's been selling that six-pack for, for the last three years for two dollars. The Pepsi man comes in and says, we've cut your cost 50 cents. That man says, okay, that's nice of you. He's going to continue to sell that Pepsi case, that six-pack of Pepsi, for $2. He's not going to cut that cost. Now, we all live in a utopia world where we wish things would be this, and we think that, and we can talk theory, and we can talk this, and we can talk that. Guys, this is not Texas. This is not Missouri. This is Arkansas. These are our neighbors and our citizens, our friends. And when you lose a loved one, I got five kids. If something happened to me, they're going to be destitute before we did this. I didn't have the cash or the resources to go after these hospitals. They're, they're, they're the car rights that, that hired the gunslingers. I'm going to be a sheep farmer. I needed the best I could get, and I couldn't afford it. They worked three years without a penny. And, and, and I came tonight to be civil. And I used to, until tonight, I respected the gentleman sitting here that was up here in front of you. But after watching his presentation tonight, I can feel, as my personal opinion, nothing but utter contempt and disrespect. I was never, I, it's, it's, I will say never, it's been a long time since I have personally been insulted by that presentation. Until you're on this side of the, you just don't know what it means. Now, you, you, I've been dead, half dead for 12 years. I lost the love of my wife. I'll never give her back. I see these movies where people lose somebody and the movie always happy. I don't get a happy ever after. My best friend is gone. My kids don't have their mama. 
the most common surgery in America is C-section. She died having my baby, our last baby, a five, a five children. And all of a sudden, my whole world is just completely, utterly gone. And the hospital was my biggest enemy. And I'm just telling you, I'm telling you right now, you can have any opinion you want to as America, you can have any opinion, but anybody that is for opinion, for one, couldn't be more wrong until you've been in the shoes. And the people that are against lawyers and are bad mouth lawyers are the same ones that are against our law enforcement in this country and are bad mouth the law enforcement. And the first time they get a need, they're the first one to pick up the phone and call the law enforcement and say, come protect me. The people that bad mouth the lawyers are the first one to say, come help me. My neighbor has built a fence on my side of the land. And I am totally offended by what was done here tonight, and I was totally suggesting the future, if you want to win your point, you don't call people names. We know in this society we can talk peacefully. We don't have to resort to name calling and calling people ambulance chasers. And I would not have started, I would get my opinion to myself until someone else started calling names and getting nasty. And I will tell you this, you have certainly lost a fan tonight, because I was a fan until I met you, and I'm in total disgust. And I do believe personally, my human right as an American, I believe you are a communist. I do. And that's all I've got to say. Wow.